we, husband 32M and me 26F, have been told by his brother, 37M, and SIL, 30s, that we should supply all Christmas gifts for the kids due to our lack of kids. Trigger warning, Roomba-induced violence. My husband has a very large family, in total I think his father has eight brothers slash sisters. They all got married and had two to six children each. Now all their children are grown up and starting families as well. We are looking at easily I believe 15 children in the family as of right now. We all get together for Christmas every year at his grandparents' house. Sounds great right? Right. Normally after Thanksgiving or on Thanksgiving, which they also all get together for we pick names for the children's gift swap. There is also a man and women gift swap, which my husband and I who do not have children join in on. Now to give you an idea of how the gifting has been the last 10 years. Husband and I would buy gifts for his parents, his brother and wife and their four kids. Great awesome. Works fine. Last year they said they would rather we just bought gifts for the kids, so we did. Same thing we'd always gotten them books at their reading level, PJs, and puzzles of some kind. They were upset but we couldn't place why. We also didn't get any gifts at all, which we didn't comment on, but my husband admitted he was a bit hurt to get nothing from his parents versus his brother and sister-in-law getting gifts. I am not a super social person, so I spent most of Thanksgiving reading a book and watching one of the youngest cousins sleep. Eventually, we all gathered up so the kids could draw names of their cousins for the gift swap. They finished that up and then husband's brother, who we'll just call Timmy says, and uncle husband will buy all the kids a gift too. K my husband and I giving him looks of de f and f you. We laughed and said oh no haha, we'll just be bringing the candy again this year. His brother then started in that we should buy all of the children gifts, since we have none. And that it wasn't very Christian of us to not bless the children with our good fortune. My husband at this point pulled him aside into the kitchen and told him he wasn't by all of the cousin's gifts, and if he wanted to he was welcome to. They started to argue, and Timmy yelled that we shouldn't come to Christmas anymore. I handed over the baby, we left said we'd email them about it later when they calmed down enough to talk like adults. I'd just like someone else's viewpoint. My husband is really upset and his parents are agreeing with Timmy that we should be giving more gifts since we have no one to buy them for but kids now, he threw the fact that we get no gifts from anyone at them and they said we were adults now and Christmas if for kids. He pointed out they gifted Timmy and his wife things still, but they said that we'd already bought it, might as well. But I have been shopping with his mother, and she bought gifts for Timmy's wife Candy again this year already. I'm frustrated and feel like no one is handling any of this well, and I want to step in and help my husband, but I want someone else to look at this mess before I do anything other than listen and offer suggestions of using I feel when you to his parents. Edit, replied to some comments, showed husband thread, send email. Haven't been answering phone calls from them ask them to please just read and reply via email so that we have time to think and respond calmly. Got a lot of nasty voicemails for it. Going to let them simmer some more and keep ignoring their calls since they keep yelling. Update 1. So. I'm not 100% sure where I should start, I am about three drinks in, just to calm myself. For one, I did show my husband the post after we talked. I brought up T-Day 2015 and asked him if he wanted some more input than I normally give on his family drama. He said yes, I pointed out the favoritism of his brother over him in almost anything. I made a list showing times when it had happened where they and he were fully in the wrong, just to prove the point. We went over the texts from his brother, SIL, mother, father, aunt, and cousin. Just to recap names. Brother, Timmy. SIL, Candy. Mother, Rhonda. Father, Keith. Aunt, Kira. Cousin, Ben. Husband, Todd. This is shorter than husband, I'm lazy. So, the day I posted after we went over the texts which started after we missed their call and went up until we sent the email all just. Spiteful shit about how we waste our money time, and life volunteering, and don't spend enough time with their children cousins cousins children family anymore. It started out telling Todd, he was being a candy ass bitch who was whipped by his cold harpy child hating wife. And just degraded from there. 
Todd only sent back a few, saying he'd email him about it and asking him to not talk about me. So we sent the email here is basically what we sent, I semi-edited it. Todd sent it as if it was just from him, we almost added in his parents, but decided we'd just forward it to them if it really got out of hand, NP Timmy did it for him. Yes well that went over about as well as water on a grease fire. For one, Timmy forwarded the email to Rhonda and Keith, Kira, and Ben. That was rude, but we were going to do the same thing either way. Ben sent us an email letting us know what Timmy did, and said he was sorry he wasn't there to jump in but would try and talk to Timmy. Timmy and Ben are actually really close so it was nice to see he thought Timmy was being unreasonable as well, since they are normally very close like here. I'm just going to highlight what he said, and then tell you what Keith and Rhonda said in their email visit. I am a cold, child-hating, harpy, and I sleep around. I'm an atheist, or a Muslim or something, he never really picked. I am dragging Todd from the church and his family. We don't spend any time at all with the family anymore. We never spend any time with our siblings. We are wasting our lifetime money volunteering with animals. Helping slash wanting to help refugees was un-American, and this is my fault since I am a first-generation American and don't understand what it means to be one deserved to live here. I'm rude and never talk to them unless it's about animal rescue, animal rights. At this point, we're kinda laughing and kinda crying and kinda shocked. We spent the rest of the day cleaning up our house and talking about what we wanted to do reply back. We hadn't checked our email and we'd stuck our phones on vibrate and were just trying to enjoy our day off together, they're pretty rare sadly. So surprise! His parents drove all the way out to talk to us. I say talk, but it was more like being talked at. They asked me to leave so they could talk to Todd about his actions rude email. Todd said no, said I was his family and his wife and we were handling this together. They then tried to convince us we had said F in front of the family. We didn't. That we had mentioned buying gifts for everyone before. That we didn't love Jesus anymore since we hadn't been going to church. And some of what Timmy has sent in the email too. When his father started to insult me and then in turn my father, Todd was done. He stood up and said, thank you for coming to visit us in our home for the first time, but we have errands to run and you need to leave now. They refused, he told them they had to go, now, or he'd have to call the police. They left. He cried, I cried, our cats knocked over their cups. We ended up calling my dad and telling him everything, as well as showing him both emails. He told us they have before talked shit about me slash us to him. You should be able to fix your child still we're still working on ours, was something he told us had been said. We decided we aren't going to their Christmas either way. I told Todd, I can't go back there again, nor can I look at any of them the same again. I knew they'd always not liked me as much as some of the other daughter-in-laws, but I didn't know it was to that extent. They have always been nice and polite to my face. Invited and included me in all events. No one had ever said anything to Todd either. As it stands, I'm waiting for my dad and brother to get into town and then we're going to sit down and decide what we would like to do. Todd said he just wants it to be small and doesn't mind where Christmas happens, and said he felt closer to my dad and brother anyway. We told Ben what happened and shipped his gift to him. I haven't decided yet what I will do with the siblings' gifts, but I already donated all of the adult gifts. Edit, sent email, got email back. Email sent around. Parents showed up, BS, all my fault, we aren't going to Christmas or talking to them until after holidays are over. I'd also like to add I am not of another ethnicity. My father is German and moved to the US when he was 20 to marry my mother. So I'm a pasty white chick, but I guess since my dad isn't American, that's bad. Update 2 Yesterday we had a small Christmas party with some friends since we will be leaving the 24th for a holiday. Myself, Todd, Dad, and brother, who I will name Theo. My friend Sandy grew up near me. We've been friends for years, and she became friends with Timmy and his wife too. They are friends together on Facebook. We had told her that there was a tiff, but didn't elaborate to not damage their friendship. Big mistake, since she tagged us in her woo look at my gift QQ my friend is leaving me for Christmas post, the photo is of the two of us drinking while dancing around her new Roomba. 
I will note this isn't just for her Christmas, it's for her Christmas, birthday, and her wedding, as well as a housewarming gift her and her soon-to-be husband Bill just bought a new townhouse near us. I normally wouldn't buy something that expensive, just for Christmas. So Timmy saw the post. Not only did he take offense to us drinking, none of them drink slash are against drinking, he really flipped his lid about her getting a Roomba. He lost his crap in the comments and then showed up at our apartment. I was in the shower when Timmy showed up, I heard someone knocking on the door, which had to be pretty loud to hear it all the way in the MB shower. I finished the shower around midway through Todd and Tim fighting. Todd said he was beating the door down, he opened the door and refused to let Tim in any further than the hallway. Tim was yelling at him about the gift, about his lack of church going, about us going out of town, demanding his kids' gifts, I donated them. And asking where we got off buying such a pricey gift for someone who isn't related and being selfish assholes about gifting the other children. So around this point I come out of the shower after putting on PJs, it's nearly 1am now. I came out to see Timmy, I'm kinda shocked, Todd tells Tim it's late and we can talk about this when we get back from holiday with the pastor. He pushes Todd, Todd falls back into the wall, putting a dent into it. This woke my dad and Theo. I moved in front of Todd, since Tim was pulling back to hit him, he hit me knocking me down on top of Todd, Dad, and Theo restrained him, our next door neighbor was Pop woken up, up and called Separated 911. all of us, we told them what had happened, didn't tell them about the other problems shortened it up to there had been in Christmas disagreement. They also called an ambulance since Todd cut his arm on a dish that broke and my face was quickly turning purple. The EMS who showed up know Todd, and were very upset about him and I being hurt. The cops asked us if we wanted to press charges, I started to say no. Todd said yes. So Tim was arrested, we went to the ER since Todd needed some stitches. Our phones have been blowing up ever since, I turned mine off after I told Sandy she needed to not let Tim and Candy see any posts about us since they are pissed at us. She said okay. I went though and unfriended grouped anyone who was also friends with any in-law family into a restricted group so they can't see anything we're up to again. I hope. Rhonda and Keith have been blowing up Todd's phone, he's only answered them in texts with what happened, that we would not drop charges or pay his bail, and to stop contacting us, at all. Between the last update and this one we had talked to some of the other family members and they all said they disagreed with Timmy. His grandparents said they did too but that they couldn't host the Christmas and couldn't stop him from uninviting us. They said they would talk to him and we were like okay cool maybe by next year we can be friends again. That isn't the case anymore at all, there is no coming back from this. We'll be filing a restraining order when we get home, Todd is talking about us moving out of our home state. Dad and Theo think this is a good idea. Dad is annoyed that I wouldn't let him hit Tim so he's sulking a bit but I think it's more that he's upset that we have lost another family basically. I get to enjoy my trip with a black eye cheek, Todd has a 4-inch gash on his arm, Dad is sulking and Theo is happy since he's smoking pot so it plus Christmas. Summary, Tim lost his shit over a Roomba, attacked us, got arrested, family is pissed we won't drop charges, blocked all their numbers FB, leaving tomorrow for someplace sunny with a ragtag group of injured, sulky high family members.